All right, so today I have a fantastic two-in-one reaction video for you guys. I have decided to react to Gigi Diana. She is back with a performance of House of the Rising Sun. I love, 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 love that song. And of course, she will be accompanied by her band. And the second performance that we will be reacting to is Katrina Velarde. Yes, Katrina Velarde. I don't know if you are subscribed to her channel, if you have seen her latest videos, but basically, okay, let's face it, she is kind of copying the Gigi Diana formula okay so now she has her own band okay and they are performing a bunch of songs and today she released her performance of Erre by Juan Carlos Labajo you know how much I like this song right so I've decided to see how she performed it so this is the two in one of the day if you are new to the channel Welcome, Mali Gayang Pagbabalik sa akin channel. My name is Ovela, I'm a sound engineer, beat maker, and content creator on YouTube. And with that being said, let's enjoy this. Boy. There is a house in New Orleans. Hmm. They call the rising sun. Ooh, I love that tattoo. Oh, she got attitude. God, I know I'm one. She got two tattoos. She has one here. Okay, I love that one. And she has one here as well. Mm. Man, I feel like she's going to deliver a very good performance with attitude. You know, my kind of performance. Pfft. Attitude and swag. Bro, how come they have one? Check it out, check it out. One, two, three, and four. Um, play YouTube play buttons. How many channels do they have? What the hell? They are flexing on us, displaying all their uh, achievements. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. She sued my new dreams. My father was a gambling man down in New Orleans. I better not meet Gigi Diana. I better not run into her when I go to the Philippines. I'm serious. If I do, I think I'm gonna propose to her right on the spot. Mm, she's feeling it. I mean, the girl is having a hard time uh, sitting still on that chair. That is why I'd love to see her perform this song on stage where she can actually move and be all, 
swagalicious and sensual and have attitude, you know? Because we've seen her on stage, man. She can do all those things and she does them really well. Man, the way she looks at the camera, she's killing me. Mm. Make that guitar cry, baby. Woohoo! Mm. So good. Shout out to you, brother. That's amazing. Your skills are insane. <gasps> like right now, I don't know if I enjoyed uh, Gigi's singing more or your solo guitar, man. Or your guitar solo. Yeah. Boy, that was so good. Whew. Wow, it's delicious. Oh, mother, tell your children not to do what I have done. The growl, the growl came out too, okay. You know, my favorite version of uh, House of the Rising Sun is the one by Hayley Reinhardt from uh, American Idol because she has that, she has a pretty deep voice and she has that textured voice as well, the raspiness, you know, that uh, Gigi doesn't have and Gigi does not have naturally a deep voice. She can make it deep and she did make it deep here, you know, but naturally it's not really deep. Uh, yeah, so Hayley, mwah. She has a tattoo here too. <laughs> yeah. This girl is a rock star. I mean, the way she sings, she reminds me of rock stars. And also in the way she moves and feels the music, man. Rock star qualities. Mm, mm, mm. Hey, subscribe! <laughs> This is the first time that I see them ask for subscription that way. It's the way I do it, you know, like my screen becomes smaller and it shows you how to subscribe. <laughs> nice transition. God, that was so delicious. 
That was so delicious. Shout out to Gigi and her Gigi vibes, man. Because yeah, she is talented, obviously. But her band members are very talented, very talented as well. Um, like in this particular um, situation, it's really 50%, 50%, 50% Gigi and 50% the band members, man. They are so good, so freaking good. I mean, again, I want to give a big shout out to the uh, electric guitarist, man. His solo was out of this world delicious as well. Oh man, the combination here was really, really good. I'm really hoping that uh, Katarina Velarde's Ere performance is going to be as good as this. Because that's exactly what we are moving on to right now. Let's go. Ere. Okay. Okay. Ere. Yeah. Game <laughs> She's cute. I like the lighting here. It's more cozy in comparison to the GG video. Do you guys think that she will curse? <laughs> Yep, she did. <laughs> hey. Diba, diba, diba. I don't understand why aren't they using the proper uh, drum set behind them they have a proper drum set right there in the studio why did they choose to use the what is that what is he drumming on like a bucket or something I don't know like a box right dude just use a freaking drum set <laughs> So far so good, but I would love it if she could make it her own a little bit. And we know that she is capable of doing that because she tends to go crazy with the runs. And usually it's with, you know, it's when you do the runs that you can, you know, make it your own, change it up that way. So I'm hoping that she will be doing that. Like she's drunk. Ooh. 
There you go. There you go. She made it her own towards the end of the song. She felt like it was the best moment to make it her own. You know, the climax. She wanted to have fun with the climax. Mwah! Awesome. <laughs> and I love the fact that she's kind of acting like him a little odd, you know, like moving like uh, 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 you know. <laughs> nice, very nice. Shout out to subscribe to this. <laughs> <laughs> She's so cute. Shout out to all of you. That was so good, man. This two in one was freaking delicious. And man, I'm so proud of uh, Juan Carlos Labajo. This song is such a big hit. I have a difficulty figuring out between Ere and Juan which one is the biggest hit, you know? I think Ere is the biggest hit, to be honest with you guys. I think, because Buan came out a long time ago, Ere just came out, and I feel like Ere is a already a bigger hit than Buan. Ere is so freaking good, so freaking catchy. I love it. I just love, love it. And that's why I don't understand why we haven't seen uh, more uh, covers of this song by you know popular Filipino artists or well you know I was gonna say or foreign artists but it's very difficult for foreign artists to sing Tagalog songs so it's understandable but at least popular Filipino artists like I would love to see uh, Gigi you know perform this song it would be so freaking good so yeah, let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on both of these performances. I really do hope that you enjoyed this two-in-one because I carefully chose two videos that are kind of similar, you know, like the same type of setting. And the two wonderful Filipina belters, you know, that are also kind of on the same level. I mean, a lot of people would disagree with me here, but they are both very strong belters. Yes, they have their similarities and they have their differences as well. But, you know, they're kind of on the same level. Marami maraming salamat po. If you got value out of this video, do not hesitate to check out my other reaction videos right here.